Day two of competition for the individuals rolls on here at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison, Wisconsin, as the women are set to take on test number five, Ski Bag. I'm Sean Woodland, alongside the second place finisher in the 35 to 39 World Division here at the CrossFit Games Station Tomar. Congratulations on that. And Nikki Brazier is down on the competition floor. Our overall leader is Alexis Raptus, and the name of the game here is consistency, and no one has been more consistent than Alexis. Four out of four, top five finishes. She's doing fantastic. Fifth on the rise, third in that pick chick fur. Fifth in the inverted medley. And then we just saw it, fifth in that alpaca redo. Looking fantastic, love the hat too. That was a smart choice. Raptus sits atop the overall standings with 358 points. He's 45 points up on Emma Lawson. Laura Horvath moved up into a top three position after the Alpaca earlier in the day. And it's Annie Thorstadter and Ariel Lowen rounding out the top five. 30-30, 20-20, four time. Here we go, 30 Cal Ski Erg, 30 Sandbag. Sandbag squats, 20 Kel, Ski Erg, and 20 Sandbag squats. 125 pound uh, sandbag there. Recipe for success is delivered by Trifecta. What will you be looking for here? If you want to win test five, you must go unbroken. I'm not necessarily saying you gotta start sprinting this thing, but you gotta be a little bit smart on that Ski Erg. And then just nod to the squat gods. <laughs> Let the legs burn and just don't miss a rip. Let's get it down to Nikki Brazier on the competition floor. Thanks, Sean. Now at 125 pounds, this is not the heaviest sandbag that the women have ever lifted here at the CrossFit Games, but that's because the intent here is to incentivize the athletes to go unbroken. And one more twist for you. Once the sandbag is up on their shoulder, they will have to do their squats with only one arm supporting it. They cannot have two. 10 women on the floor here for this first of four heats. In lane number four, Carolyn Stanley comes in in 33rd place overall, looking to get inside the top 30 and stay alive stay after that first cut. Yeah, I got a chance to talk to her coach, Jarrett Smith, at a like comp that. train. He said that of all the tests that were announced prior to the CrossFit game starting, she did test this workout, and she's most looking forward to this test because she does love to squat. We do know that there is a 30 cal ski erg to start, but it's not necessarily where it's won. You saw the men just go. I would say if you're consistent, if you're a great squatter, Colt Mertens just proved that. You might want to take the, take your eyes on Caroline there and uh, don't bleach. She might take this, this test. 30 total calories to start here. And then it's on the 125-pound, 56-kilo sandbag. Emily DeRoy is your leader halfway through that 30-calorie ski. DeRoy coming in in last place, 40th place overall. So she has this test and the next one. She's in lane number 10, left side of your screen, to get inside that top 30. We're cutting the bottom 10 athletes at the end of the day, and we only have one test remaining after this. Yeah, big, long pulls on that ski erg. You can see a lot of the girls hanging their hips and their butt back, not necessarily bending the legs. They want to save the, the legs for what's to come underneath those sandbags. Emily DeRoy will be the first woman off, and she will get to work on her 30 squats. Lauren Engenes is there as well, along with Sarah Kaya. We'll schedule a no-cost 15-minute evaluation to find out if a Rossi treatment is right for you. Get pain-free, now available across the U.S. Scan the QR code to get started. We are two minutes in for that six-minute gap. Kaya leading in lane number six, and then it's all the book in. Lanes five and six are the two women who would be on the wrong side of the cut line. That's Manon Enganez and Sarah Kaya. And Sarah Kaya on the right side of your screen is your leader right now in this heat, along with Ella Runye. Ella Rune 
tonight who's our leader. Ten reps to go here. Remember, as the athletes walk forward, they are allowed to bring that second hand on top of that sandbag, but as they're squatting, they must let go of one of those hands, find the balance, find the control. You don't really realize how much of your core, we all think leg, leg, leg. That ski erg is arm, it's core. You're crunching with every single pull down. The balance, just to have one arm out on this uh, sandbag squat takes so much of that tree trunk of yours to keep yourself upright, heels firmly uh, rooted into the floor, and back nice and upright as well. It's a challenge. It's a full body workout we're looking at here. Ella Bouye is the first woman to the skier for the second and final time. She's got 20 calories to complete here. And there's Kelly Baker who's going to join her now. So two women on the second and final ski at 20 calories. Right now is in 39th place overall. So she really needs a strong performance here and in the final test of the evening to continue on in the competition. You notice Kelly Baker there on the right side of your screen, just kind of really using her lats to pull down on that ski erg, keeping the butt a little bit higher, not necessarily dropping into that squat. Deroy Michelle Bassnet are also on the ski as well. And now all but two women have completed their first set of 30 squats. Ella Wunger, though, down in lane one. Get back to work on her final set of 20. The six-minute time cap here. Same as the men. Remains for Ella Rudier at that 125 pounds, 56 kilo bag. She advances every five repetitions. And Kelly Baker and Sayer Kaya are on their squats as well. Ella down there in lane one, she's kind of short. She's got a short amount of time left to get just a few reps in. She knows she's racing the clock, but darn, that's so uncomfortable knowing my legs are just completely gassed right now, and I only have a few short seconds to finish this work. Rubio's going to make it with about seven seconds to spare. 554.35 seconds for Ella Bouye as she's the only woman to complete that test inside the six minute time cap in heat number one. So Ella Bouye was your leader from the outset here, and then really put a ton of distance between herself in the field when she got to the ski for the second time. It was that second ski. You could take, uh, you know, she just looked really calm and confident. She knew the pace she needed to set. She knew she had to race against the clock there at the end. And once you see that finish line in sight, you can give it a little bit more gas. 554.35 seconds, Ella Wounier in the top time. The business at hand is test number five, the second heat for the women in ski bag, and I think Chase had the best description of this. Gross. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the one out there doing it. Four time, 30 cal ski erg, 30 sandbag squats. Then they go to back to the ski erg for 20 more calories and finish with 20 sandbag squats. 125 pounds in that sandbag. 10 women will be on the floor here for the second of four heats. And in lanes one and two, two women who should have no trouble with that 125 pound bag, Amanda Barnhart and Ellie Turner.
we are underway. Amanda Barnhart coming in in 29th place overall. So she has some work to do to stay on the right side of that cut line. Ellie Turner a little more safe in 27th overall, but looking to give herself some breathing room here in this test. Amanda Barnhart, though, games vet, been here for six years, college swimmer. So you know this upper body pull on this ski is kind of in her wheelhouse. You see her taking a look over her shoulder already, kind of looking over at her neighbor next door. How's my pace? How many cows? She just has to stay in her lane. She's done this before. Yes, she may be in an unfamiliar location. We do have a cut later this afternoon, but she knows what she needs to do. She's a strong squatter. Like I said, she's a college swim swimmer, so I think she has an advantage in this test for sure. Emma Carey is your leader to uh, 21 of those 30 calories. Barnhart in second, all by Abigail Gilbert. There is Emma Carey, who started off really well in the alpaca and then just ran into a wall on her second round of legless rope by 25th overall right side of the cut line. But like everyone else in this, he's trying to give herself some, some headroom. So Amanda Barnhart is onto the sandbag. Unfortunately, though, that first rep, she didn't quite get the depth the judge was looking for, so she did get a costly no rep there. That's one of the recipes to success we kind of mentioned earlier on, you know. Don't worry about necessarily going out so hot on that ski, but darn it, you cannot afford to go underneath another Sampec squat when you've already got 50 to look forward to in this test, number five. Emma Carey towards the top of your screen. She's out front, she's down the right side. She is your leader. Six minute time cap here. Timing is presented by G Shock, the official watch of the Noble CrossFit Games. Emma Carey, though, you know, had a little fumble on that ride test, number one. Didn't seem to phase her. Came back fourth in the pig event. Didn't have the finish she wanted there in test four. Doesn't seem to phase her now. Keeping up with the crowd, our right, crew here. Doing what she needs to do. Well, Amanda Barnhart choosing to put the lifters on. As opposed to the more traditional training shoes that Emma Curry is wearing. And see if you play off right now for Amanda Barnhart, who is in her final 10 reps. Ellie Turner sits in third, followed by Paige Semenza and Sydney Wells. Emma Carey actually got a, a no rep. She thought she had finished her set of five, started moving forward. The judge called her back. And now look, she had to drop the 125 sandbag, clean it back up, and get back to work. Paige Semenza has now moved herself into second place behind Amanda Barnhart. Barnhart and Semenza getting to the ski at the same time, and now Ellie Turner is about to join them. She's in the middle of those long black pants, and here comes Emma Carey. Yeah, they just gotta settle into a comfortable pace here. Nothing too extravagant, nothing too fast. Nothing that's gonna necessarily spike the heart rate. The heart's already beating fast enough. It's almost like a recovery. Let the legs get a little juice back. Use as much of that upper body pull as you possibly can. You can see Amanda Barnhart demonstrating this beautifully, using her entire upper body, not necessarily bending over and using her legs. Amanda Barnhart has been to the CrossFit Games five times before this. Her career best finish came in both 2019 and 2020 when she finished seventh overall. Well, Emma Carey has now retaken the lead on the skier. Once she hits that 80 rep mark, she will move forward and Emma is done. Now 20 squats remain. Now Ellie Turner and Amanda Barnhart look to be the next two off to ski, and there they are, dead even. And here comes Kate Semenza. And Turner with that bag, no problem on her shoulder. She will get to work first, and now with no reps, she had two hands on the bag. You can only, you can only have one. And 
Corey Turner now in the lead ahead of Emma Carey by about one rep. Here comes Amanda Barnhart advancing forward. Oh. And Turner with 10 reps remaining. 554.35 seconds is the time to beat. 30 to go before we hit the cap. Emma Carey, you know, kind of fumbled, grabbed her hold of her sand bag, found on squatting, squatting a little bit too soon without releasing that hand. The judge gave her a no rep, and here we are again. She's got to drop that sand bag. The final three reps for Ellie Turner looking to set the new mark to beat, and here comes Amanda Barnhart into her final set of five. Turner's got one left. She will make it. She is in, but she will not beat Ella Rudier's time. Arunye at 554.35 is still your top time. Ellie was four seconds off. Ellie Turner, 27 plays overall coming into this test. And now there's one of two women who have finished this test in its entirety inside that six minute time cap. Well, this race really started, Stacy, here in the back half. Yeah, you got it. You know, Ellie didn't necessarily put, on, put the pedal on to the metal until she got to those sandbag squats, kind of coasted through the skier, caught her breath a little bit, picked it right up, got right to work, despite getting a no rep early on, felt the pressure of the clock there at the end, held on, you can see she is just so uncomfortable at this point, but managed to finish that per, per, uh, finish line. Well, Ellie Turner, her score says that she was capped. Her other time, though, the real time that should be on there is 558.87 seconds. She is inside the time cap. Everyone else did not make it, so now only two women have finished, and Ellie Runier still has the top time at 554.35 seconds. Two heats remain in ski bag. Halfway through test number five for the women here on day number two of competition for them at the 2023 Noble Cross Games. We are inside the confines of the Coliseum at the Alliant Energy Center. I'm Sean Woodland alongside the second of fittest 35 to 39 year old woman on the planet, Stacey Tovar, and we got Nikki Brazier down on the competition floor. Ski bag is test number five and Say goodbye to your legs. Holy cow, Sean, Chase said it best. It's gross. Six minute time cap on this thing. 30 cal ski erg, 30 sandbag squats, 20 cal ski erg, 20 sandbag squats, 125 pound sandbag. You've watched a couple of heats. Does that change at all the recipe for success delivered by Trifecta? <laughs> you know, things don't change. However, <laughs> I still don't want to do this thing. Test number five is all about going unbroken. If you want to win this thing, you cannot afford to drop that sandbag, nor do your legs want you to do that as well. And just nod to the squat gods, guys. You know, sell your soul to the squats. Ten women on the floor for the three of four here, and it's Gabby Magawa in lane number six. 12th place overall, looking to crack the top ten with a strong effort here. Yeah, she needs this here. She does enjoy pulling gymnastics movements, so maybe she'll take a crack at the skier here, give it a little ride. And she loves the barbell, so any any chick that loves the barbell knows that, that we love the we love the squat. So she'd have no problem with this test. However, it's not one on this ski. Down in lane number one is Olivia Kerstetter, making her first individual appearance here at the CrossFit Game, former teenage champion, and right now, 19th place overall. She is their youngest competitor in this field at 17 years old. What I love about her the most is that her entire family does CrossFit. Mom, dad, even a sister that is also a, a competitor herself. And she admits she loves the machine, so she's strong too. Catherine David's daughter is your leader right now in the heat. She's also looking to work her way into the top ten, a former two-time CrossFit Games champion. 14th place overall, 200 points for Catherine. Yeah, prior heats, Catherine uh, 
at about the 20 rep count, they were a little over a minute. She was already at minute three on the clock and had about 24 cows there on her ski. So she's well above the, the previous team's pace. James Zeller is now done, and she will be the first woman to that 125 pounds with this kilo bag. You know, this isn't the normal size of a sandbag we see. You know, the men had a 200-pound sandbag, and when we bring a 125-pound sandbag into the situation, we usually would expect 185 pounds for the men. However, director of the Noble CrossFit Games, Adrian Bosman, wanted to incentivize the women with a 125-pound sandbag to go unbroken. And we saw it in both the two heats prior to this that it's still heavy. They were dropping it in between these sets of five squats. Catherine Davis' daughter is still your leader. Olivia Kirstetter was the second woman to the sandbag. She did the far end of the floor. As Davis' daughter I'm has 15 left. Sean, I'm sorry about that. I'm impressed with Catherine's squats here. She's normally not a squatty or type of girl. The machine, no problem. We know that girl can, can pull and she's got an engine on her. But she looked good on these squats here. Solid stance, feet firmly planted into the floor. Looks comfortable. I hate to say that, but she looks comfortable. Uh, first of all, we see the games out on the right side. Olivia's first ever is on the left. The right side, coming for Oda. Danielle Brandon just dumped the bag. She's there in the middle of, in the all blue. Another no rep for David's daughter. Only two women have completed this test inside the six minute time cap, Ella Gouillet and Ellie Turner. And they did it with only six seconds to spare. And here's the deal. We're almost at the halfway point and there's a six minute time cap on this workout. They can feel the pressure of that. David's daughter back to the ski for 20 more calories. And as a former champ, when you hear you're in the lead, the momentum only carries forward. She can feel that. You you roll off that, you know? It's like, yeah, let's go. This is my jam. I'm in the groove now. Bring it. Olivia Kerstetter sits in second. And here comes Gabby McGowan to the ski. She'll be in third. Carifra Elba is there as well. So four women now on their second and final ski. 20 calories at the 80 rep mark. That's when Catherine David's daughter will get to her second set of squats. Now the previous two uh, heats have shown that they need at least about 90 seconds to get through those last 20 squats. So we're racing the clock here pretty soon. The David Sider cranking away on that thing and now five calories to go for her. She's opening up a lead on first center Magawa and Freyova. Paige Powers will be the next woman there along with Rebecca Vinison. Vinison bottom of your screen as David's daughter moves up to the sandbag. 20 more squats, she'll advance every five reps. 554.35 seconds is the top five from El Rune, and now another no rep for David's daughter to start things off. She chose the same shoulder. That must have been feeling good for her on this first set of 30. At this point, it's like whatever's comfortable, just kind of go with. Olivia Bruce at the top of your screen, she's onto the bag as well. She caught ground on those first set of 30. Olivia did there down in lane one. So we'll see if Petra, you know, holds steady here. Another no rep. She cannot afford any more no reps. And Gabby McGowan and Cody Freyoga are now getting set to start their final set. And Olivia Kersetter is starting to creep up. And this crowd is letting her know, you have got to pick this thing up. Ten reps to go for David's daughter. Olivia Kirst on her left side of your screen, now at the top, has pulled even with David's daughter. She slowed that second ski erg up on that second set of 20 calories. And keep an eye on Gabby McGowan there in the middle in the all-black. She's moving pretty well right now as well. McGowan just five reps behind Kirst Center and David's on that. Kirst Center has the lead. Final five reps for Olivia Kirst Center. Final five reps for Catherine David's daughter. Olivia's looking strong there. Two more reps to go. Catherine's following a little bit. You can see the sandbag. And now the second half shot. came up. That was the no rep for Kerstetter. Davis daughter drops it again. Kerstetter is going to get in, and she has her new top time. Gabby McGowan is now even with Davis daughter with five seconds remaining.
And that will do it. So Olivia Kerstetter, the only woman in this heat to finish, and she has your top time at 550.91 seconds. I'm so happy for her. Her family is right behind her in that, in that lane one. High fives all around, hugs and loves. Looking good. Great job, you did awesome. One heat remains, and we'll see if that time stands for Olivia Kirsten. But Catherine Davis' daughter shot out of a cannon, but late she faded as she struggled with that bag. I think she might have came out a little too hot, but who's to say she, maybe she was trying to make it down and play to her strengths? She, Olivia came from behind, kind of went a little bit more steady pace on that second set of 20, and that's where she eventually pulled away. Davis had to drop it back twice on that final set. Olivia Kerstetter is able to get through her final five reps, and now she has the top time at 5 minutes 50.91 seconds. Catherine Davis and Gabby Magawa and Tony Fraiova will all tie. They were three reps shy of completing the test, and Danielle Brandon, 12 reps shy. We'll be back with the final heat in Ski Bag. Ski Bag! And it's gross. <laughs> it's gross. 30-30, 20-20, Ski Erg, Sandbag Squad, 20 Cal Ski Erg, 20 Sandbag Squad, 6 minute time cap, 125 pound sandbag. Recipe for success is delivered by Trifecta. If you want to win, you have got to go unbroken and not, not to the squat gods, sell your soul to the squat. Ah. 10 women on this floor for this uh, final heat. Annie Thorsauter, the former two-time champion, the only woman to compete in three different decades at the CrossFit Games, is within striking distance for a spot on the podium. And for more on her, let's send it down to Nikki Brazier. It is no surprise to see Annie coming into this test in that fourth place spot. She has more experience than any other competitor out here. 13 appearances at the CrossFit Games. And when I asked her what makes this one special, she said having her family here, especially her daughter, cheering her on in the crowd. An inspiration to all athletes, but especially us mamas. There is Alexis Raptus, your overall leader after four yes. tests. Three-fifths and a third. 24 years old. The teen division started in 2015, and that's when this individual woman started. Only, pardon me, says only three women have finished this test inside the six minute time cap. Olivia Kerstetter has the top time at 550.91 seconds. These athletes cannot see. They're corralled when the prior heat is already out on the floor. So they don't really know what unfolds. They don't know the paces that were held and the strategy that we with that was used in the previous heat. But you've had that experience. What's that like with being down there, knowing that competition is going on and that your turn is coming up? How do you manage those nerves? Well, you don't. <laughs> you kind of just rely on knowing yourself and, and knowing what's best for you. If I were to be out on this floor doing this workout, I'd probably ease into the skier a little bit, and I and knowing that I have 50 stand-back squats to complete, knowing that there's been some no reps, and hearing about the chatter, you do hear the noise underneath the stadium there while you're warming up. I'd be like, okay, I just need to like stay with the pace, consistent pace, not necessarily sprint, but just stay steady on the ski and sell my soul to the squats. Laura Horvath is the first woman to the squats, and here comes Annie Thorosano, now Emma Tall. On the right side of your screen. The 30 squats here, 125 pounds, 56 kilos. They will advance every five reps. The leader's name will be on the far left side of the scoring hat on the top of your screen, and the number in the white box will indicate how many repetitions that woman has completed. The number in the white box next to all the other women's names will indicate how many reps by which they trail the leader in the heat. Now you might just think squat because we've been talking about the legs and blowing up the legs and selling your soul to the squats, but you do not realize how much of your core you are using when you are doing a sandbag squat. You're staying upright, you're balancing that thing on one shoulder, you're firmly painting your feet into the floor. There's a lot of accuracy and precision going on there that's not necessarily just involving the quads. Final five reps here for 
Gore Horvath. You can schedule a no-cost 15-minute evaluation to find out if a Rosti treatment is right for you. Get pain-free. Now available across the U.S. Scan the QR code to get started. And Laura Horvath's going to get started on her 20 calories on the ski here. And she is way ahead of the lead pace. Olivia Kirsten in the top time again at 550.91 seconds. And Laura Horvath is running away with this heat right now. Sean, I said it in the previous heat. We need about 90 seconds to get through those last squat, 20 squats. We were at 3 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock when they were all on their 20 ski. So she's well ahead of the pace right now. And knowing Laura as an athlete, like this is what athletes look forward to is hearing their name on the loudspeaker, getting pumped up, knowing that they are in the lead and just riding with that momentum. Alex Gazan on the right side of your screen on the ski. She has moved into second place. And those are the only two women on this portion of the test as we are more than halfway through the allotted time here. Six minute time cap. Our leader there struggling to get the sandbag even to her shoulder. And Laura Horvath getting the crowd behind her. And she is looking to put up a dominant performance here. Annie Forrest on moving to the ski. You just saw her at the very bottom of your screen. Emma Lawson is there as well. And Laura Horvath came in in third place overall. She's only 14 points back of Emma Lawson for second, and she is well ahead of Emma right now in this heat. Laura is so ridiculously strong that it is no surprise that this 125-pound sandbag is being handled the way that it is right now. Horvath looking for her eighth career win at the CrossFit Games. And she is absolutely demolishing this. She has five reps to go. And this is not fair. Laura Horvath is going to win Ski Bag, pick up 100 points and looks to move even closer to the top of the overall standings. Alexis Raptus is towards the back here in this heat. And Laura Horvath only has to make up 59 points on Raptus to overtake her for the overall lead. So we'll keep an eye on that as this heat continues to play out. Now one minute to go before we hit the six minute time cap. Leader on the floor is Alex Kazan. As she moves forward, with that 10 reps second, left. That is the second time she had to drop that sandbag in these last 20 squats, Sean. She's got 45 seconds. She can feel the heat. She knows exactly where she's at. She just has to stay calm, get back in the groove of things, find the balance, find the control. Now Alice Gazan now with 30 seconds to go to get inside that six minute time cap. She's got five reps left. I talked to our coach Justin Cotler. They've been working on what's been taking place between the years this offseason. This will be a huge confidence builder for her. She can finish before the cap. It looks like she's going to solidify that. Gazette is in, and that should be good enough for second place in the test. It was close. 550.32 is going to be six tenths of a fat second faster than Olivia Kerstetter. So only two women finish. And if you blinked, you probably missed Laura Horvath as she just dusts that test. Four minutes, 36.18 seconds. And Alex, Alexis Raptus is going to be towards the back here. Right now, she's listed as finishing 37th in the test. And that means Laura Horvath might might be in the overall lead heading into the final test of the day. It was Annie Thor's daughter who came out on that ski earth with a blazing pace, getting to the squats first. But this is where Laura pulled away. I kind of told you, once she hears her name on that loudspeaker, she just rolls with the momentum. She handled this 125 pound sand sandbag like it weighed 105. For real, Sean. Oh, it just fires me up. But think back to the big shipper. I don't know if she's getting misloaded implements because she is making those things look like there's nothing in them. 436.18 seconds, the only woman to go sub five. Alex Kazan, Olivia Kerstetter, Ella Bounier, and Ellie Turner, the only other women to finish inside the six minute time cap. But let's go down to Nikki Brazier with your test winner.
Laura, in a test where we saw so many women unable to finish, you were laughing, you were hyping up the crowd. What got you so fired up about this test? Just this test to do it in the Coliseum in front of everyone. It was amazing. This was definitely a wheelhouse test for you. What is it about these movements that allowed you to get to the finish line so quickly? I love moving heavy things from A to B, and this was all about that. So I was just excited when it announced. You are a seasoned veteran at this point. What are your specific goals, your personal goals for this season? This year, my goal is to win the CrossFit Games. You have support here from the crowd. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. You're awesome.